Good morning, guys. I've just figured out that at certain times of day, I can have the skyline in my background when I'm filming. Um, it's very glary though, because the sun's coming off some of the balcony and hitting me right in the eye. But anyway, I thought I'd have a change of scenery because I always film in the same spots when I'm at a certain place. So here I am, burning my retinas, and uh, it's the 1st of September. So I'm going to recap my year so far and how m last month was. So last month, I was thinking about this yesterday, was the best month in my entire adult life. That's a big call, but it was the first month in my entire adult life that my binge eating disorder was cured, where I got to live a whole month without having to worry about the struggle of wanting to overeat and wanting to binge and wanting to just eat crazy amounts of food and worrying about the fact that I'd be gaining weight and it was such a stress off my shoulders and I was so happy for pretty much most of the month because of that. Um, I feel very grateful to have read the book Brain Over Binge and to be cured now because it is the best thing that's ever happened to me pretty much. Um, and as a result of not having that anxiety in everyday life, everything else was better. Um, fitness wise, I hit the gym heaps. Um, I started proper rehab for my knee and I must say, it is feeling a whole lot better. Um, less than a week now since I went to my sister again and got the new exercises and it just feels so much better already and I know it's gonna be cured within, probably within the next two to four weeks. So it's such a fantastic fucking feeling and I'm so excited. Um, financially, it was a great month. Like personally, it was a great month with all my family, my friends, with Emily. Best, best month I've had in my adult life, without a doubt. Um, I've just grown even so much in confidence in the last month because of having the burden of binge eating just sort of lifted. So it's crazy. It's fantastic. Um, the year so far, so we're eight months in now, which means we're two thirds of the way through the year. Um, it's four months left. In these four months, I'm going to fucking smash it. I'm going to make so many changes because I don't have to have that anxiety anymore and I'm not going to lose a bunch of weight and feel really good and then gain it all back in a short period of time and spend tons of money in the process of doing it. I mean, it's been the f most fantastic year. It didn't start out that well. Um, the first two or three months wasn't that good. I backslid a lot and then now I've come back in a massive way and life is just so much better than it's ever been. Standing here on the balcony, looking after my mum's house with this beautiful view really close to the city, looking after the dogs with my beautiful girlfriend. I'm drinking a coffee. It doesn't get much better than this. Um, and yeah, it's been the greatest year of my life so far. I was hesitant to say that because last year was definitely a fantastic year, but this year has been the greatest year of my life by far and away. Um, and we've still got four months left, so those last four months are just going to... This year is going to be hard to beat in the future, but if I keep going with the positive mindset that I have now, that I've had for the first time in my adult life, I'm going to be unstoppable. Um, and it's a fantastic feeling to know that because I'm doing so, so well. But yeah, there's my recap. Best month of my adult life. Best year of my adult life. Best year of my life, probably. Um, I suppose you can't really compare being a kid to being an adult because they're very different things. But. Emily and I are about to go and look at houses, so hopefully we find a good one. Even if we don't, I'm not stressed. Um, it's going to be a nice day and then I start work at 3 o'clock, so I'll be going straight from there to work. But that's okay. I think Emily just got home from walking the dogs, so I will film more later. <laughs> We're looking at houses, it's raining. How are you, how are you doing baby? Yeah, doing very well. Love and life? Life is pretty fantastic. We're having the best day. Um, it's probably raining on the lens, but <laughs> you'll survive. Um, so we're looking in South Yarra at the moment. We went to one in St Kilda East. We weren't fans. They put a car parking space on the ads for the place. But then they said that it's not on the title. So really you don't have a car parking space. You'd be fighting with your neighbors over one. Um, this one's awesome. It's right near the Yarra River. It's gonna go for a lot though. It's got a little courtyard um, that feels really secluded and nice. Like. Can you imagine having a kiddie pool out there and beers during summer? That'd be really cool. It'd be epic. Um, it's getting worse. I might have to stop filming. Um, we're going to another one in South Yarra and that's probably going to be our last one. Um, we went to breakfast. 
I had a BLT for lunch. Ah, it's so annoying. I wasn't going to do it because I was like, I don't need to have a meal out. But then I thought to myself, this is what recovery is. Letting myself eat a meal out when I'm out to lunch with my girlfriend. Letting runners by because I know what it's like to be a runner. <laughs> you must be fit as fuck running around this area because it's very hilly. Um, we're about to get back in the car and then I'll wipe the lens and get on with it. But you can hear just by my walking how hilly it is. Jesus Christ. I don't think there's any time limits in this street, babe. All right. So, here we go. Oh. My word. That was uh, sudden. I've got to see it. I'm going to clear the lens. All right, yeah. So, I wasn't going to eat breakfast then. I thought to myself, or lunch. I thought to myself, why would you deny yourself that? That's recovery. Recovery is... Well, I've already said this. Why am I repeating myself? <laughs> but yeah. Um, so I'm really happy, really full. So I'm probably not going to eat until dinner at work. I'll eat 2,000 calories today, go to the gym after work. It'll be good. Um, we went to a store and I did a nice thing and bought this girl some shoes. Didn't she I? spoiled me. Do you want to show the shoes? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have work, most unfortunately, but... That's why we can afford to buy an apartment around here. That's why we can afford, I can afford to treat Emily to these beautiful Italian leather shoes. They're fucking gorgeous. Whoa. Gorgeous. And when the guy told us, like, he asked what Emily's shoe size was, and she told him, and he's like, oh, these are the last pair. I, I said to Emily, what did I say? It's Maybe it's, a, it's a sign. And then I decided to get them for her. So they're Italian leather. They're beautiful. I think they're down from 500, he said. Yeah. But you can never trust that that's actually what they were worth but Italian leather is good leather and they look beautiful she was gonna go with the black I said to her you should have a look at the grey so she tried the grey on and lo and behold she liked it so we got it um, feels nice to be able to do that, that for Emily came out of my motorbike fund but I'd rather spend my money on you than me <laughs> um, I'm so excited to go to the next house I think this I uh, know oh it is a two-hour time limit on that side anyway but yeah I love this area and I've said to Emily I think we're pretty much ready to stop looking in the St Kilda East, um, Balaclava, Alstonwick sort of area. It's just that bit further from the city and we're already going to be, be ugh, I can't even speak, I'm out of breath, we're already going to be paying a lot for our apartment we might as well just get it in like the best area possible. South Yarra is such a beautiful suburb in Melbourne. The coffee and, and food we just had was incredible and that's because it's in South Yarra so anyway. That one was cool. I think they're asking up to 6.40. That'll go easily more than that, but we'll see. Um, that's all I have to say for now, so I will film more later.